What is going on everyone? Episode four of the coding tutorial. I am so far really happy with how this series has been going. So I mentioned in my first video on this series how my first couple of videos were gonna be kind of similar to what we saw on Taewoo Kim's channel. Today is now where we begin to separate from what he talked about. So the last thing on that video series that he made two years ago was about kind of making those advanced graphs that I showed you. So from here on out, this is more just my content now and my own original code that I am now showing you guys. So just want to let you guys in on that. A, again, a really big thank you to Taewoo Kim and his videos that he made as they were the foundations for me making this code and they were really what made me interested in using Python for um, financial statement analysis. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make simple ratios. So what I'm kind of thinking of in the example I'm gonna show you is like making a current ratio and doing, doing like a trend analysis of it for every single year that we have data on. And then once we make that new ratio, we're just gonna make a simple graph of it. So then we can start kind of comparing the ratio over time. So like the current ratio, we can compare how the company's been doing with their current ratio over time. Is it getting better? Is it getting worse? Is it the same? That kind of thing. So these ratios are a very common measure that investors use when they look at stocks to make some sort of comparison or just to kind of see the health of the company. As you've seen from all my videos, I look at current ratio, debt to equity ratio, total assets, all these ratios quite a lot. So they're very good to do a time series analysis on and it's even better when these ratios are created automatically for us and the graph automatically appears once we put in financial statement analysis or financial statement information. It's great to have them automatically show because that saves us a lot of time when we have to do our own research. So like I said, I'm really happy to keep this content coming to you guys. I hope you are finding this really helpful. In a few more videos, I'm gonna be showing you just kind of how powerful this coding is for doing financial statement analysis, but that's for a later time. All right, everyone, let's jump into the code now to see how to make these simple ratios. So here's where we left off last week. That is that more advanced graph right here. So part four, simple ratios. So luckily all the things that we need to have imported have been imported. So no importing or anything like that this week. So the first thing we can do is, like I said in the intro, we're gonna make the current ratio. So let's create this current ratio. And a current ratio is our current assets divided by our current liabilities. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing that we're gonna need to do is make a new column. So that's what this row is right here. So what I'm saying is balance sheet, which was that balance sheet document that we made all the way up in the first part. Cause if you remember, I separated out the balance sheets or not the balance sheets, the financial statements into the three components, income, balance, and cash flow. So I'm gonna make a new column in that balance sheet data frame. So balance sheet, I'm gonna call it current ratio. And all I'm gonna do is say, we're gonna pull in balance sheet total current assets and balance sheet divided by balance sheet total current liabilities. So what does that look like on the original spreadsheet? Well, what that's gonna look like is all I'm saying is, let's just make a new thing. It will be like right here and it will be current assets. It's gonna be kind of, this is kind of the similar thing, but and it's just gonna be would equal and it will just be our total current assets divided by a t t uh, our total current liabilities. That is basically in an Excel kind of what I'm doing. And just to show you, I'm gonna skim over some of the code for the next few weeks, but here is what happens is now we made, here's our balance sheet and I'm just doing a simple, just pull up what the balance sheet looks like. As you can see, here are all the things that we've had, assets, cash, whatever, whatever, whatever. But as we go towards the end here, I made that new column current ratio. And this is for all of those years going down. So you start at 11 and go down. So that's what it's doing. It's just making a brand new column for us to use. And so now that we've made that new column, let's just make a simple graph of it. And I'm just using the same exact code that I use to make a simple bar graph, bs.index. And the y is going to be now that new current ratio column that we made figure show and here is what it looks like and just to confirm with you guys that this is the same thing that would be happening in excel just to, oh it's always good just to double check your work i made the same exact thing the current ratio there's all the data and here's what it made in excel um, looks exactly the same to me 
And this is, again, it's good to show that one, all this stuff did automatically, right? I just made the code once, it all pulls it automatically. And this, you know, it took a few rows and a little bit of a mess to make this and, you know, a bunch, a bunch of button clicks and whatnot. But honestly, it's a really, really simple thing to do. You just need to make a new column and uh, making a new column can really be used for, you know, anything. If you want to just start, you know, adding different things together, you can make a column doing that. So. You know, this is a great thing to do. Just make a new column and you can do whatever the heck you want. And just to guys give you some other uh, ratios that you could make, just to give you some ideas, you could use the quick ratio, profit margin, gross profit margin, debt to equity, total debt. You can use the income statement. You can use the balance or the cash flow statement to make things in the income statement. You would literally just change this BS to the IS if you're using the same code that I used up above. So it's pretty simple to do. And um, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. And next week I'll be showing you how to make more advanced ratios using uh, prior data. So like averages and whatnot. But um, today just wanna keep it, just keep it relatively simple. I hope you found this video, um, you know, informative and helpful for you guys in your financial statement analysis. If you're using this code for your stuff, uh, drop a comment and let me know, you know, give me reviews, let me know what you think of it. And the code for this week's uh, stuff is going to be either in the description or the comments somewhere. Um, so make sure you check it out. Again, I thank you guys so much for watching this. I really enjoyed this video series quite a lot as I find coding to be pretty interesting. Um, have a great rest of your day. I appreciate you watching. Peace.